Hello everyone, here is the first math lesson of what matters. This is all about the application of sequences. If you want to know the real world examples of sequence, watch this. Alright, let's begin. One of the breathtaking, super exciting sports is skydiving. Although it seems too dangerous, some still choose this as their form of recreational activity. Would you want to try it? Now, here is a problem involving skydiving. During a free fall, a skydiver jumps 16 feet, 48 feet, and 80 feet on the first, second, and third fall respectively. If she continues to jump at this rate, how many will he have jumped during the tenth fall? To answer this, we will be using a procedure called C, Plan, Do, Look Back. Now, let's see the problem. What type of sequence is illustrated here? Remember that if we're gonna write 16, 48, 80, we're gonna form an arithmetic sequence, since there is a common difference. Now, let's plan our solution. As we identify the problem as an arithmetic sequence, let's answer the problem. How many feet during the tenth fall? From here, we can see that the tenth fall represents the tenth term. Hence, we will find it using the nth term formula. Got it? Now, looking again to the problem, let's do the solution. Obviously, analyzing the given sequence, we are asked to find a sub 10. Given a sub 1 as 16, the common difference as 32, and n equals 10. We can now substitute it to the given formula. That will be a sub 10 is equal to 16 plus the quantity 10 minus 1 times 32. From that, a sub 10 is equal to 16 plus 9 times 32. As we know, 9 times 32 will give us 288. Adding it to 16, a sub 10 will now be equal to 304. So by interpretation, during the 10th fall, the skydiver reaches 304 feet. So now, we have an answer of 304 feet. Now, it's time to look back to the answer. Is it correct? Although this part is optional in nature, it is still advised to check the correctness of the answer. We can just continue the sequence until we reach the 10th term. From 16, 48, and 80, we will have 112, 144, 176, 208, 240, 272, and as you can see, the 10th term is 304. Let's have problem 2. If you have two parents, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, how many ancestors do you have after the eighth generation? To solve this problem, we will be using the C plan do look back procedure. As we can see, 248 is a geometric sequence. Finding the number of ancestors in the 8th generation 
means finding the a term using the n term formula. Now, let's do our solution. a term is a sub a. So we will find a sub 8 using this formula. Given a sub 1 as 2, the common ratio as 2, and the number of terms as 8, we can now substitute it to the formula. We have a sub 8 is equal to 2 times 2 raised to 8 minus 1. Then we have 2 times 2 raised to 7. Two raised to seven is equal to one hundred twenty eight. Is equal to two hundred fifty six. So by interpretation, the number of ancestors in the eighth generation is two hundred fifty six. check if our answer is correct, we simply continue pattern. We start with 2 for 8, then we multiply 8 by 2. So I will use another color that will be 16 times 2 will be 32 times 2 will be 64 times 2 will be 128. And as you can see, the 8th term of this sequence will be 256. Therefore, our answer is correct. Good job! Try this one. You can pause the video to try it out. A house helper receives an annual salary of 36,000 with a contract of 250 pesos increase per year. What is the total income after 8 years? Now, let's follow the C plan do look back procedure. The word increase actually indicates an arithmetic sequence as 36,000 for the first year, 250 pesos will be added each year. So we know that the common difference is 250. Another thing is the problem asked for the total income. So it simply talks about the sum which we simply know to be arithmetic series. As plan of solution, we will use the formula. Let's do it. In here, 36,000 is the first term. The common difference is 250. We will now look for the sum of the first 8 terms. To do that, we need a sub 1 which is equal to 36,000 and n equals 8. We can now substitute to the given formula. S of 8 is equal to 8 over 2 times 2 times the first term which is 36,000 That's the quantity n, which is 8, minus 1, times the common difference, which is 250. Now, s sub 8 is equal to, so I will just be changing colors, so 8 over 2, we know that to be 4, then multiply to okay, 72,000, okay, I'm sorry, I'll be just changing the color, so 72,000, 
from 36,000 times 2 so that's plus 8 minus 1 so that is 7 so multiply it to 250 so I'll be changing colors again so I'll just copy 4 that will be times okay so 72,000 plus Okay, so we know that 7 times 250 is equal to 1,750. So simplifying what is inside the parentheses, we know that will be 4 times 73,750. So multiplying 73,750 by 4, so the sum of the first 8 terms is actually equal to 295,000. To interpret this, it means that for 8 years, the house helper will have a total of 295,000 pesos. To check the correctness of the answer, we simply add all the terms of this given arithmetic sequence. With that, we can see that the answer will be 295,000. Very easy, right? So now, in our world, whatever things you do, whatever things you enjoy, always remember that sequences are everywhere. Because in here, we always consider what matters. So if you want more videos, subscribe for more and share this video to everyone.